I have been informed today by the boss it's time for me to do a video. Apparently I've been slacking. We have cows out here in the field. Probably need some water. They gave us a scare the other day because the front fence was down and we could only see two of them. Usually they stick in a group, but for some reason two of them were back here and the uh, other four were on the other side of the field. That doesn't normally happen. Um, but they're all counted for and all out there eating and ignoring us because they're cows. That's what they do. And uh, all six of them. Oh, I checked their water. That's where I'm walking over here. They got salt. I need to get a mineral block. It's time of year to get a mineral block. But everything's pretty green out there still. Starting to lighten up. As it yellows out, uh, you tend to get a mineral block because of protein. They just need those extra vitamins and stuff when the uh, grass stops having all the nutrients in the fall. But uh, they all are. Maybe they'll come over here when they hear us put feet on. This fence is down right here, too. It's probably because that's where the cow came across the other day. So our neighbor's cows got out and ran through the fence. I'm betting right here is where they ran through the fence. We've got another one of these though somewhere. Yeah. And uh, so our neighbor's cow, neighbor had a steer that had no respect for fences and went through our fence a couple times, went through our neighbor's fence a couple times. They finally got him hauled off. He's going to the butcher, but um, they uh, had had seven cows all together and the butcher could only take six. And the next one they could take next week, you know? So what happened was they put one cow alone in the pin over there and it escaped. It jumped over the fence over there. Well, you leave one cow alone and they, they're afraid. They're, herd animal um, their whole social construct is around being around other cows and while if you have a bottle calf or something from a baby and they've never experienced a herd you can keep them alone for the most part and not have a problem but if you have like if I were to take one of these cows and leave it here and get rid of all others uh, they would try to escape to get with other cows um, it's just the, the whole herd thing and they would probably force their way across the street to my neighbor's cows and I'd have a cow in with theirs. Um, but otherwise, if they're content, like so my herd is fairly content, this fence being down probably would never, they would never escape. And it's not because, it's just because they don't want to escape. There's These fences are a, uh, are not a physical boundary for them. While yes, the electric fence does shock them if they get too close to it, it doesn't really hold them in. Uh, if they wanted to go through, they could. Their hides like leather and they weigh over a thousand pounds and this wire I could walk through uh, if I really wanted to, so I'm sure they can too. And I know they can because that steer the other day did it multiple times with no effort. Um, it's just kind of a, um, you know, how would you put it? It's a, it's a mental wall. It's a, this is our territory type of a thing. And once they establish that, as long as they have water and as long as they have food, they'll never try to go through the fence and shelter to some extent. You know, they got the shade there, shade in the other corner. At some point I need to take you guys out to the other corner and show you. There's that, you can see there's a big tree in the corner over there and they all go lay underneath of it. Um, and then certain times of the year they lay by that tree line there. So there's plenty of places for them to get out of the sun but but it's all about pressure so if there's predators pushing them or if there's no food pushing them or if they need water pushing them sometimes even just the urge to mate if you have all girls over here and they can see a, a bull on the other side of the fence they might go through the fence for that too uh, but pretty much uh, it's just a mental game the whole fence thing and if one of these cows ever does walk through this fence then it's a real pain to convince them that they can't just do it all the time. They'll walk through 
fences because I don't know. We, we've always just called it respect for fences by the cows. And uh, if they don't have respect for fences, they will go through fences. I When I worked at a feedlot, the uh, one time we got a bull in, and those fences at the feedlot were made out of well rod. So you could drive a truck into them and they weren't going to move. And we had this big 2,000 pound bull one day. We brought it in and uh, we put it in a pin right next to another bull. And usually we don't do that when they first come in um, because they'll bash the fence and stuff. They'll get mad at each other because they don't know each other. But anyway, this one time we put them both together and one of the bulls wanted to fight and the other one wanted to run. And the one that wanted to run decided to jump over eight foot fences. And he went over like six, eight foot fences before he found a stall of food in it and decided to stay where the food was. It was quite impressive. Um, so yeah, these, these walls are just psychological barriers. Um, anyway, I'll pause and go over to the chickens. Also, chickens. Amanda has fed them, so they are in a frenzy. See, there's a bunch of around that bowl, a bunch around this bowl. These guys are getting water. Bard rocks over there by yourself. Um, here, film, talk for a second. Grab phone, stand there. Film, talk. Talk. Did you chicken? These ones are bird brains. Sometimes they need help getting out. They have been laying in their uh, pen. They're in their nesting boxes over there. They're enjoying the uh, the little ones are enjoying being outside. Come on, baby. Man is not so high energy today. Anyway, so Silkies, Silkies need a haircut. They can't hardly see. We're gonna have to come out here and trim their hair so they can see again. That pom pom on top of their head grows down over their eyes and they can't see. We always make sure they all get out, especially the Silkies. That way they find water and food. They can see a little bit. Don't think they're totally blind. They just have to like pause and look at what they're looking at but morning chores chickens are fed told you about some of the excitement we had cows in here fortunately they were in here when the that steer that got out and the horse was in here fortunately when they were here the uh, chickens weren't out they were still in the pens and uh, they got their steer rounded up and called off but I think it was a rude cow it didn't even leave them any cow patties I didn't. didn't leave them a single cow patty our chickens like cow patties they don't particularly like the cow patty itself it's all the bugs that are in the cow patty that they like but brand new turkey rooster it's funny the major color difference between the girls and the boy uh, Polish there. All the girls are pale colored and the boy is bright orange. Um, Polish is there. Yeah. Look, I just drank water. I'm going to throw it up on you. Yes, by the way, 
chickens do not have the same like throat controls we do. If they drink water and then you turn them upside down, you will pour all the water out of the chicken. So don't do that. They're too handsome. They're too big. Yeah. Anyway, that's chickens for the morning. Craziness. Definitely still got our clicks. All the uh, little chickens are over here. And all the uh, big chickens are over here. As they get bigger, we're going to force them to stay with the bigger chickens. Um, and then we'll just close off the little coop to them until they get used to it. We'll leave the outside gate open so they can get shade, but we'll close it so they can't get into where they sleep and roost. Anyway, again, thanks for watching Peterson Ranch Life. She's got a baby. Baby chicken going on. But thanks for watching. If you got this far, leave us a comment, ask a question, just say hi. I will say hi back. Uh, leave us something in the comments. It helps with the algorithm. It helps us get more people viewed. And when we hit a thousand subscriptions, we can get monetized. And then once we're monetized, we can do a whole bunch more stuff. So, uh, and if you're one of the people that are still waiting for me to work on cars, I will get around to it. I've just been working and I have to do animals. A Chevy truck sat for 10 years before I got it. Hopefully it doesn't sit another 10 years, but it's not in a hurry priority at the moment. Thanks for watching. Bye. Short extra bonus clip. The cows decided to come over, so get some cow footage. We got a Bambi's, a steak, and a Hermes. These are our three biggest cows. The haunted house just uh, made a big slam behind us. Mmm, yummy. Oh, Dad walked over here. Hermes is weird about that. Is the water still going? It's tricky. Um. Yummy salt. A bit of a fly problem going on again. It's not too bad. We definitely had worse fly problems. We haven't given them any fly control this year, but uh, I try not to give them anything that they don't need. Not just out of being efficient, but you know, I just don't think they need to eat stuff that they don't need. Now it's time we might go get a fly control mineral block for them. Is he hiding over there? He's hiding from me. Oh, he's thinking about it. I actually think Steak sometimes scratches his head on Hermes' horns. That's exactly what's happening. Steak is scratching his head on Hermes' horns. Yeah, they're loving on each other. They're being buddies. Being buddies. 
and Ferdinand decided to join us. You got such a wrinkly nose and face. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, buddy. I always think he's kind of got that like mopey look, like Eeyore. Yeah, I'm gonna go turn off the electric fence and fix this down wire, so. That'll be it, that's it for bonus. Thank you for watching again.